So earlier I was talking about the U-bolts and how they thin out with rust. You can see that's a half inch. Look at how much this one's left. Because this sits with dirt. The axle sits in here. This will sit with dirt and stuff. There's nothing left. Just a little safety tip. I mean, it was underneath the spring, um, but still, that's not uh, that's not safe. You'd be towing or something, and uh, this one's the same way. I haven't knocked much of it off, but it's all just loose, flaky stuff. But anyways, I got the C notch done. Or no, correction. I got the axle flip done, so the uh, axle's now on top of the springs. Uh, what I encountered was I couldn't get the uh, spring bolts out. So I have to cut these rivets out anyways because that for the uh, short box conversion this perch gets moved up here so I had to take out these rivets probably next weekend or this week sometime anyways so I just went ahead and uh, cut them out. It allowed me to take the spring off without removing the bolts because they are not moving. Um, I'm not really going to revisit it because the plan is to go four link eventually, probably this winter. You know, when it's snowy and crappy out and there's nothing else to do. So yeah, those bolts are not coming out. The uh, spring bolts. But anyways, I think it, uh, I never took a measurement. But uh, apparently it's six inches. Drop in the back. No, I'm going to drop it. Uh, there are two to three inch drop springs in the front with a two inch spindle, so somewhere between four and five inch drop. I assume the uh, the springs are V8, V6, so I'm a, this is being a V6 truck, I'm guessing it's going to be two inch spring, two inch uh, spindle drop. We'll have to see once it uh, settles in and the weight of the box is on the truck because it's that's going to be a bit of weight too. All right.